Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the big show. We got a uh, we got a nice show this evening, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's one person behind me. We got a uh, big, big show this evening. Uh, some cool people are here. Some fun stuff is planned. And I got to mention this up top, folks. The artist formerly known as Prince is in the news, which makes people like me very happy. <laughs> Have you heard about this? Yesterday, in New York, this was a big deal. The artist formerly known as Prince held a giant press conference to announce that he would now like people to go back to calling him Prince. <laughs> That's right, yeah, and uh, later the journalists issued a press release saying they'd now like to be known as the reporters who didn't show up because they don't care anymore. <laughs> this is, uh, seriously, I saw this happen. He wants to go back. I'd like to now return to my old Latin name of Conando, if that's okay. <laughs> the Latin lover. So don't laugh at that. The, uh, I had made love once. Uh, it was great. Uh, I got an interesting story. This was in the news today. The country of India is apparently updating popular English nursery rhymes to make them more accessible to the people of India. What they're doing now. Yeah, for example, one of the rhymes starts out, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. No, seriously, she lived in a shoe. <laughs> I like the joke, but I think my commitment to it was amazing. I think, I think that was... I, commitment... I was like a shark with that joke. In that I shredded it, all right. Uh, this week, I got some television news. This week, the miniseries Jesus became one of the first shows ever to beat an episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's a big deal on television. Yeah, and uh, immediately afterwards, Jesus renegotiated and demanded the same deal as the cast of Friends. <laughs> Which... You're just applauding Jesus. <laughs> Uh, and then speaking of millionaire, I got to mention this. Uh, ABC announced that next season they're going to be producing a version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for college students. Just for college students. Yeah. Yeah, apparently it's a lot like the regular show, but contestants receive an additional lifeline where they can stall for time by doing a bong hit. <laughs> So the two things that you really like are Jesus and bong hits. That's, if we could somehow combine the two, all right. Let's, uh, let's talk about tonight's show. Great show tonight from the program Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She's also on uh, Hollywood Squares. Very funny woman, Caroline Ray on the show. We also have, uh, from the television show, Judging Amy, the very sexy, very talented Amy Brenneman is on the show. And, very cool, an American hero. He was part of the first mission to the, uh, to the moon. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin is here. Which I, think is me. I bow to Buzz Aldrin. I'm not a cynical punk. And then uh, right over here, ladies and gentlemen, Max Weinberg and his seven Max Weinberg sevens. Max! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. You know, you mentioned uh, the Jesus miniseries beating Regis. It right. Made, uh, on Variety, which they have up in the front of the office. The, the, the magazine, yeah, Variety. It's a showbiz magazine, right. Variety. Big headline, Jesus beats Regis. <laughs> and I, w I was just thinking, oh, I wish that was a different story than what it w really was. <laughs> Jesus comes back to Earth. Yeah. 
Regis, I need to speak to you in this alley. Oh, deal with this fireball, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They're fighting each other. Calm down, Jesus. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Uh, the, I, I would... I, also, you know what I think about a lot? That's a cool name, Jesus. Mm -hmm. When you think about it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? What's the name? The name's Jesus. <laughs> you know, that's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Even if you don't know all the other stuff, the other biblical connotations. Yeah. But it's sort of taken. <laughs> uh, well, that and, yeah. you know, this... Well, I don't feel bad. I got Conan. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. It's that's like a boy named Sue. Taken as much as Jesus. I yeah. Mean. Jesus is pretty, you know, yeah, you, there's a definite sort of idea connected right, to that name. Right, you, you know? can't, someone else can't be Jesus and right. go, no, not that Jesus. Yeah, not that. Why do they yeah. always bring him up? Yeah. <laughs> there are other Jesuses, yeah. you know. Not the Jesus that cleans aquariums. Yeah. I'm talking about the Savior. There was a, oh, yeah. There was a guy that, in co and when I went to college... I'm going to mention his name, if that's okay. It's, I don't know. They'll bleep, but, no, don't. Well, I don't what know. Do I care. <laughs> if it's okay with you, Andy. Sure. Go true ahead. story. When I went to college, you know the way you, you, you share, a, in some situations, you, I had me and my like five roommates, and then there was a bathroom that we mm -hmm. shared with another rooming group right, of guys. Right. There was a guy that lived through the uh, other bathroom, and his name was Jesus Lavandera. And mm -hmm. I translated it. His name was Jesus Lavender. Uh-huh. I thought, like, what a cool name. <laughs> Jesus Lavender. I am the Lavender Jesus. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Are you the turquoise Jesus? No! <laughs> He's my like, sworn enemy. Yes. <laughs> I clash with turquoise Jesus. <laughs> I am Lavender Jesus. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe I'll get a letter from him now. Yeah. Saying, thanks for bringing me up on the air, creep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Please send money. <laughs> Please send Catch. <laughs>